Okay, let us understand the concept of revenue. Now revenue basically is one of the most important and I would say actually not one of the most important, it is the most important concept or rather the constituent of any economic activity. I mean, end of the day, why would a person engage into an economic activity? Because he wants to earn some money, right? And revenue basically refers to the payment in terms of money which is received from sale of commodity. So normally in any economic activity there is a buyer and there is a seller. So let's say the seller sells any commodity to the buyer. Let's say for example a bag. This could be any bag, school bag or whatever bag you want to consider. He would give the bag to the buyer and the buyer is going to give money to the seller. So let's say he paid 100 bucks to the seller. So this 100 basically is what is the revenue of the seller. Right? Now revenue insofar as this is concerned can be expressed in three forms. This could be total revenue, this could be average revenue and this is marginal revenue. Okay. Now what do you mean by each of these terms? For this I will just add on one table here. I give you the example of a bag. So this table basically refers to the various bags which were sold. For the sake of convenience I have taken the units as one. So the one bag is sold for rupees 20, right? The total income earned by the seller at 20 rupees is 20 rupees for this bag. Now when he sold another bag for rupees 30, the total income became 20 which was what he earned from the sale of first bag plus what he received from the sale of second bag which is 30 namely 50. Similarly, when he sold the third bag, he got 40 rupees for this bag. Now the total revenue earned by him on sale of all these three bags was how much? Total income earned, actually this could be revenue rather than income. Because income is the net margin, so we are just taking this as total revenue. Now the total revenue earned by him is 50 for the first two bags plus 40 what he earns from the third bag. So this is 90. Now let us revert back and see what each of these terms mean. Right? So the total revenue. Total revenue basically means the total receipts if I may say. Receipts is a loosely worded thing or proceeds received from sale of all commodities. Okay, so let's say they sold a total of one, two, three, four, five bags and what he earned out of this was total of 200 rupees. So 200 basically is the total revenue right? 
which is also expressed as T R. Okay. Now, when you come to average revenue, on an average, how much did I earn by sale of these bags? I means the seller. He earned the total of 200 rupees, which was the total revenue, and he sold five bags in all. Average revenue basically means the total revenue divided by number of units sold. So let's say in this particular case, I earned 200 and I sold 5 bags. So my average revenue becomes 200 upon 5 is equal to 40. Right? Now marginal revenue is the third concept. Just like you have understood the concept of marginal utility, marginal revenue basically means the net addition which is made to total revenue when one additional unit is sold. So let's say you had sold one commodity and you got 20 rupees, right? When you sold two commodities, you got 50 rupees, right? So the net addition to the total revenue is how much? It is 50 minus 20 or 30 when one additional unit is sold, which is the case here. We are not selling more than one unit. It's the one unit which we are selling. So the marginal revenue basically becomes the net addition to the total revenue when one additional unit is sold, right? Marginal revenue can also be computed as change in total revenue upon change in quantity sold. So let's say if instead of one, here you would have two units at 30 rupees each so that the revenue income would have been 60 plus 20 right so this would have become 80 let me just clear this up for you so let's say instead of one I sold two units here at the rate of 30 so the total revenue earned from the sale of these two units will be 60 and the total revenue will be 60 plus 20, this will become 80. Now if I were to calculate the marginal revenue, it will be change in total revenue, which is how much? 80 minus 20 or 60, right? So the marginal revenue will become 60. How did I arrive at this 60? The total income minus, total revenue actually, minus total revenue on sale of one commodity divided by change in quantity sold. So how much is the increase? That is 2, which will give you 30. So that's how basically you compute these three kinds of revenues.